everyone, so this is just going to be my college dorm room tour for 2017. If you guys didn't know, I'm a junior at Boston University. I am in West Campus, I'm in Stuvi 2, in the apartment style room with four of us living here. And then we also have a kitchen, a common room. So quick overview when you walk in, it just looks like this. And here is my door. And then on this side, I just have like a towel, a sweatshirt. I left things like how they normally are, so some things aren't like totally clean, but I just wanna be really real with how it actually is in college. Before I forget to mention everything I can find in this video online, I will have a link down below so you guys can get the same things as me. We can twin. So if you guys can't tell, my bed is actually a full-size bed and these apartment dorms always come with twin-size beds. But now I'm a junior, I've had a twin bed crammed in a little dorm room for two years now and I was like, you know what? I'm not having it. I wanna live on campus, wanna be in Stuby 2 with my friends, but I just can't be in a twin bed anymore. So I know this is like extra AF, but <laughs> one of my roommates, Lee, last year, she had a different person's twin bed and her twin bed like pushed together so it makes a king. So then this year I was like, hey, like, are you planning on doing that again? Like you can take my twin bed, that way I can get a full size bed in my room, I'm just gonna buy one. And she was like, yeah, like that's awesome. So it worked out so well. And any of the dorms at BU, I know it's like a policy because I get so many questions of how I have a full size bed here. And you can't like call housing and be like, hey, can you get rid of my bed for me? Because they like won't take it away. It's like one their policies so if there's a will there's a way that's what I've learned and I was just done having a twin size bed and having this full really comfy bed is so worth it okay so my full size bed that I got is a Lisa mattress and if you guys remember my move-in vlog I talked all about Lisa basically they have the comfiest mattresses ever and now I can confidently tell you that examples include last week I had more time than normal to sleep and for Monday through Thursday I slept 13 hours every night like this bed is so comfy that if you have the time to sleep that much like you just will my big natty slept over the other day and she never like slept in my bed and she was like what the heck this bed is literally the comfiest bed ever like I'm coming over to sleep in your bed all the time now I'm gonna fall asleep right now Lisa mattresses are so comfy I'd highly recommend just like so convenient that they have the mattresses delivered to you and everything and I'll have Lisa linked down below so you guys can check it out if you are interested I know there's like a sweet discount in the description box as well so definitely go check that out and I'm actually waiting for some Lisa pillows they're like on the way and I'm so excited because if they're even half as comfortable as this bed they're gonna be like the best pillows ever I got this on Amazon a really warm duvet but I have it linked down below and then this alpha fee blanket is from society six i just love having it here and i think it just makes my bed look really cute and then there's april you guys know her she's from build a bear she has her pink little onesie on and she smells like cotton candy then there's charlie my elephant pillow pet and then i just have these two white really big fluffy pillows from dormify actually this view guys it never gets old best part of my room look at my view it's literally insane. Okay, one thing I want to mention is that I don't know if you can tell how small my room is. Me and my three roommates, mine's very obviously the smallest, but now I've learned to love how like cozy it is and just how amazing the view is. It's so worth it. So over here we have the Charles River, obviously, and the Harvard Stadium's right there, so that's pretty cool. The Harvard Quad's like right over there, Cambridge. There's a Trader Joe's down there. The BU Boathouse is right down that way. You literally can just see like so far you can see the highway that's cool you can see trains going by this view is just so cool and then my favorite part is how it wraps around so you can see rich sleeper in claflin the freshman sophomore dorms here and then abby's over in 1019 hi ab hi louisa i love you guys and then this is just nickerson tennis court so yeah my view is like unreal and stevie 2 isn't like the cheapest place to live on campus it's pretty expensive but in my opinion it's pretty worth it because I don't want to say exactly what floor I am, but I'm like very high up <laughs> in Stevie 2 on one of the top floors, so my view is just like unreal. Then the gallery wall, and I would like to apologize in advance. I know these are not straight by any means. I did not use a level. I didn't measure it out at all. I literally just went at it one night, hanging them up all by myself, and you know what? I think it turned out pretty well. Every single one of these prints is from Society6. I just kind of mixed them all together and thought that it just turned out so cute. I really like them. This desk just comes with the 
apartment in this chair as well here's my computer I just have like an Alfie sticker and a Doat sticker you guys know Doat shopping is like my favorite shopping app I actually had my internship with them this summer and then I actually just got this sign in like a PR package the other day from Venus thank you I love it so much and it just says Gretchen Hearts Ab and Lou for Abby and Louisa because they're just my best friends and I love them and I want to change it to tis the season um, but I just haven't gotten around to it so that's what it still says and then I just have a mirror here that I can like do my makeup in oh my gosh like my PJ outfit guys <laughs> Here's my Canon 70D that I will shoot some videos with and take pictures with and I actually just got a mic Because if you guys have noticed some of my main channel videos like now I don't have a vlog channel anymore So everything's main channel, but a lot of my haul videos and stuff when that's on autofocus It can be really like loud. So I just ordered a mic and it's on its way. So no more crickety loud haul videos Anyway, I digress and then this is actually like a cork board thing and I just have this note from my dad It says great seeing you XO daddy <laughs> So cute because like I was in Manhattan all summer if you guys know and then I was home for like a week or two at the end of the summer before I came back to BU and he just hides little notes and the stuff that I brought to BU and I thought it was so cute he put one in the top of my oatmeal container too and I still leave it there because when I eat oatmeal like all the time I always see it there and it's just like a cute little reminder up here we just have all sorts of stuff and this is what I'm talking about guys I'm really not that organized these candles all dusty clearly don't even really use them that much I don't even think you're allowed to I just have this lotion here that I will use sometimes. It's from Bath and Body Works. I have a hockey puck from when me and Abby went on the ice at halftime. It was like the funnest time ever. Go watch that vlog because it's really funny. I have a pair of sunglasses that I can like grab and go if I'm going somewhere. This EOS lip balm I actually think is my friend Sam. Sam, if you're looking for your EOS lip balm, here it is. <laughs> and then my jewelry and like watches and stuff are just kind of like all over the place. And that's how it always is. And whoever's hoop earring this is also, I think Nat, this might be yours. Natty, if you're looking for a hoop earring, there's one here, and only one. <laughs> Some chapsticks. Over here we have my Mario Badescu rose water spray. I really enjoy that. Um, this is like your life. If you're a YouTuber, you know what I'm talking about. This stupid, oh, this stupid new MacBooks only have like USB-C ports on the side, and they're not compatible with like literally anything. And then all cameras have SD cards, so then you have to get a bunch of these things and all sorts of converters. So I just always have it there because I used it like every day when I import footage on my computer. I have vitamin C because I'm always sick. I'm probably getting sick right now. It's so annoying. So I take this all the time. And there's my YouTube plaque. How cute. It's like my 100,000 TLV little plaque. That is my desk. This is a tapestry from Society6. Pretty much everything that's like decorative in this room is from Society6 because I just love them. This tapestry I just thought was so cute. I know it's in a size large in case you're wondering. And I'll have it linked down below. Exactly the same print so you can find it. And I also have Christmas lights going up around like my whole room. Yeah, they're just white. Um, I also have them linked down below. I just got them on Amazon I know. So they're really cute. Normally I don't have them on during the day or anything. But I turned them on for the purpose of this video. Okay, moving this way. I have a bunch of these like bins everywhere. Because I am not organized. And they kind of help me throw all my stuff into a pile and make it look more organized but see this is just like clothes and skincare and stuff so that's that and then my dresser I'm literally not opening any of these drawers because they're all really messy but <laughs> this is just a bunch of clothes like yep oh geez what have you done <laughs> oh wait I should tell you I'm all over the place okay this rug has seen better days clearly <laughs> I know it's from rugs USA it's like really dirty right there and then over here where people don't stand it's like clean um, but I had it in Manhattan this summer for like a month or two so it got really dirty but I think like there's always people and clothes and shoes and stuff all over the place so that's why it's dirty that's just a Cartier bag with the rings that I got in the fall I just got a gold one and a silver one they're like the wedding bands the skinnier ones because I really like the way they look stacked um, <laughs> This is really funny. My big Nat and my grand big Ariana, I love you guys so much. They got me flowers not too long ago, um, but then they died, and then I threw them out, and I got this rose for when I got invited to a crush party, put it in there. Now I'm noticing it looks pretty dead, um, but I didn't have a vase, so I stole Taylor's hydro flask, so it's really funny that a hydro flask is my vase, but anyway. There's another little candle there. Oh, this bracelet's so cute, guys, look. These are the coordinates of where Abby and me met. I love you so much, Ab. And I got her this bracelet for her birthday, and I got a matching one, but I literally did not take mine off for, like, months. So look at how, like, old it looks. It's getting very worn out, so I just wear it sometimes now instead of, like, every day because, like, showering with it and sweating with it, like, all the time would just get it pretty nice, dude. I got it from Brooke in New York, by the way. Right then I just have some perfume. I have a scrunchie. I have a bunch of hair ties. And this is our composite for Alfie that we just got recently. There's me and I'm right next to Abby, which is so cute because we actually met during recruitment last spring. Fun fact. And that's how we became besties. 
So yeah, that's why our names are like near each other because we were in the same pie guy group. Down here, just a bin with more stuff. These are like new clothes I want to show in a video. This is a bunch of primer from Smashbox. Thanks, Smashbox. I'm so excited to try them out. Then this lamp I know is from PB Teen. I actually broke it. See the inside's all like smashed, but it still works. It's still a highly functioning lamp. <laughs> then I have this little Soap and Glory hydrating like lotion spray thing. Going back over here, this is one of my closets. Okay. Let me explain. So, you guys know my best friend Taylor, she lives with me. Her room is right there and it is literally twice the size of this room. Like, when I moved in, I'm not kidding, I cried. And I know that sounds insane, like, I'm so lucky, I'm so blessed I get to live here. Like, it is actually really hard to get into Stuvie 2 um, by itself. And I was just really lucky because, you guys know, I rode on the lightweight rowing team my freshman year here. And then sophomore year just made it really easy to get pulled in because I was a rower. I lived with all the rowers my sophomore year in a suite in Stuvie 2, which has eight people, which is really fun, but just a lot when you have eight people and you don't have a kitchen or anything you still have like a dining plan so then my junior year I got pulled into apartment in Suvi 2 which those are so hard to get into but um, again I just got really lucky because I still live with all rowers right now so I just got really lucky that I got like into the Stuvi 2 system of like pulling in early on because of rowing so that's why I got in here and then once I got here I was like my room is tiny I'm so sad and then Megan Lee and Taylor were like wow your room is literally the smallest thing ever like I don't even know if you guys can tell from me showing you around, but like it is very, very small. Like this full size bed takes up like the whole room, but again, not complaining. So lucky, so happy that I live here. I almost didn't get in, and yeah, I just am really happy that I live here. And it's like really cozy, so I've learned to love it, and my view is amazing. But that being said, still the smallest room, so we kind of made a deal that you guys know I have like an insane amount of clothes, and I brought my clothing rack actually to go in here, but it doesn't fit anywhere. So we have three hall closets, and I was actually allowed by my roommates. I got permission to take over two of them, and then I have my closet in here, so I have three closets. I know having three closets is like wild, but they're pretty small closets, and then that way I can like fit all my stuff here because my room's so small. So. I just want to say that really quick. This is my main closet, and then I'll show you my like sweater jacket closet, and then my dress closet. Okay, so on the back of this door, I just have like my most worn leather jacket. This is just like my All Saints jacket. I get a lot of questions about this too. I feel like from people asking where it's from, it's just from All Saints. Um, it's kind of the more like distressed leather one. This is the Gucci belt that I got recently. I'm so obsessed with it. It's just like the classic double G gold one. This is a representation of my life up here. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, these are like pretty much most of my sweatshirts and sweatpants and it is just never organized up there. And like I try folding them in piles and then it just gets like that anyway. So now I just have accepted the fact that it's always going to look like that. Then this is my main closet that has just like crop tops and like t-shirts and long sleeve tops. This is just like my top closet. Right here, these are mixed with crop tops, crop tank tops, body suits, tube tops, bandos, like that's all right there. And then in here, this thing is from the container store, by the way. It's, like, really helpful. I have more, like, workout tank tops in there because I just have so many of those. Like, one of those drawers is t-shirts and workout tank tops, but that's also more workout tank tops. I do not work out enough for how many workout clothes I have. I mean, I used to for running, but just not anymore. Anyway, those are all socks in there. Those are all undies. And then my Soul Cycle shoes are in there. Got some slippers right there. I don't know why there's a bra there, but I have more slippers there. Dirty clothes and, like, a little laundry bag there. My school backpack is there, and it's still the one that I have from rowing, so that's why it says 1.30 rowing. I feel like I always get questions about that, too, when people see my backpack, they're like, what is that? And that's just because I was on the rowing team. My running sneakers are right there. I have, like, a fan back there, and there's, like, a random FedEx box there. I guess I'll just show you guys really quick my two other closets, and then we'll be concluding my room tour. So this is the closet I have with, like, all sweaters and jackets and stuff and this is just like right by the front door which is really nice so I can just grab that stuff to go when I'm leaving oh and this is our full-length mirror if you guys didn't notice I don't have like a full-length mirror in my room but this is just like the full-length mirror that we all share want to say hi, hi. <laughs> wait I can't wait to do an apartment tour and show like everyone's rooms because your room is like obviously so cute but one day we'll show everything cuz it was really clean yesterday it'll be clean again soon this is my dress closet which just has all sorts of crazy dresses. There's some like party ones, long ones, like simple t-shirt ones. You guys know like I have a bunch of formals and like events and stuff for being in the sorority, so that's why it's really helpful to have so many dresses. And then whenever anyone needs one, like any of my friends, they just come and can borrow one, so that's cool. And then also in the bottom of a bunch of closets, I have these big bins with all my shoes. This 
so yeah i guess that is it for my room tour i hope i mentioned everything that you can see and remember i'll have everything linked down below that i can find in case you're interested oh wait that's one thing i can see right now that i didn't mention my hydro flask it's good stuff keeps your water cold like forever oh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in our next video bye